Okay. Oh yeah, black sun in the hizzle, all oh, for shizzle dizzle. We got an excellent show here today. We got Jose from Anonymous. Say hello to the folks again, once again, Jose. What's up, everybody? Um, just returning back. Maybe we can have a good discussion about a lot of things that has been going on, especially. Man, a lot of things been going on, Jose. Oh, I know. Yeah. Um. Oh, excuse me. I know. You know, we had a situation, and uh, well, two things we're going to discuss. We're going to discuss North Carolina, and then we're going to discuss, let's just say, what the hell, you know, because that's been a big thing. Um, oh, yeah. But let's start with South uh, North Carolina. So we got groups like Antifa, Black Lives Matter, and uh, I mean, we're both here to <laughs> set the record straight, you <laughs> yeah. know, because I mean, I know... A lot of Antifa members wear the false mask, yeah, and they call themselves anarchists. So it's, I, mean, I guess, it's easy to get confused. It's just like uh, Black Lives Matter. Somehow, some kind of way, I guess, because they're all black people, they they lump us in with Black Panthers, which is not so. Oh um, yeah. So I mean, we're we're gonna have both a chance to straighten the record out. I guess draw a line in the sand and. Yeah. Um, and just just cl just clear up a lot of things because I think there's a lot of you know I remember I made a video when we did uh, the march on the Klan at the Stone Mountain. A lot of groups had to clear up a lot of things, you know. So, yeah. You know. Um, so we're here today again. We're we're, <laughs> we're playing cleanup man again. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's crazy, man. Like, I mean, just the what happened on that day alone is is you know it's crazy, you know. Right. For someone in their, someone in their right mind, wouldn't do such thing like the car incident. Right. You know, right. Running over protesters, like who does that? You know, it's it's, it's all crazy. Um, right. And no matter what ideology you have, I mean, I, I can't imagine people, anybody agreeing with something like that. You know, but I mean, I've I've listened to the right, or so-called, I guess they call alt left. I mean, mm -hmm. alt right, and they're saying that nobody knew who that guy was. Of course. I mean, like. I just feel like, you know, the guy who did that, whatever, he, you know, is all right, whatever, and, um, but not once do they ever call them a terrorist, you know? Right, But, that's true. unfortunately, someone in a different skin color or from a different country or whatever. Right. That would automatically put him as a terrorist. That's right. I mean, that that was a terrorist then. That, that, that was, right. So it's right, because like, that's what ISIS does. They, they... You know, and, and I think in England and uh, France, you know, they had to stay. They actually, they were, they had the nerve to say there was a. They had copycats from the south. I'm like, but ISIS, they've been running over people, you know, yeah. putting cars and bombs and all that stuff. So that that's, I think that was a kind of a, a weak cop out, of it, you know. Yeah, and I mean, ISIS, we know who funds them and all that. So, it's, but we're not gonna get into that today. <laughs> that's that's a. For another video. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're going to do that in the future time. But, yeah, it's like, I knew, I know some people in Antifa, you know, a lot of close friends and stuff like that. So right. it's like, okay. when, um, you know, I'll, I'll tell them, like, straight up, like, I'm not, I'm not going to be part of Antifa or nothing like that because I'm anonymous and anonymous only. So, right. with that said, it's, it's just like, what they, what I've heard and they tell me, you know, they're the ones I know specifically. I'm not. I can't talk for all Antifa, but the ones I know, um, they're they're out there in the community. You know, doing good stuff and okay. this and that. And those same people I know are also part of Anonymous. Right. So it's oh, like, okay, okay. I think that's where that mixture comes from. So dual, dual from. membership. Yeah. I mean, so but like, Ozzy, is is it okay to have dual membership? Because I mean, I I mean, I look at myself as. Uh, I guess an honorary supporter or honorary member slash supporter of Anonymous, mm -hmm. Jordan Three Percent, Black Panthers, and uh, mm, not a member of the Bastards, but I do support. I mean, I, I support them, but I mean, I'm not a member. But you know, so a yeah, lot yeah. of the groups that I come encounter with, uh, I look at the likeness and what I agree with, and um, a lot of times, I don't 
think, well, it, I guess it's just a personal philosophy of mine is instead of trying to, I can think it's harder to try to find things that we can agree on, but we can all unite on things we can disagree with. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all against, you know, like, hate. We're all against, you know, racism. We're all against, you know, like, like the Klan. We all came together, even though we didn't all agree on, like a lot of the groups didn't agree. They had their own, like, you know, you know, we have factions of Black Panthers, but we all came together that day with Anonymous, with Jordan 3%, the, even like the Michigan Confederates, we don't agree with the, and that's a whole other topic, but with the yeah. Confederate flag, yeah. but we, we know that, uh, that, the Georgia Confederates actually stand against the Klan, so, uh -huh. you know, so it's like, okay, well, I can unite on that because I'm against them too, you're against them, so we can unite on that. But I don't think we can unite on the Confederate flag because I'm not with it, but I'm not going to rally against it either, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean. But that's just me, that's just me though, because I mean, I got even people in the Panther Party, well, but like, like Black Lives Matter, they, they want to take down all the statues. They want to take down all the, uh, and that's what this is about. You know, they've mm -hmm. been taking down Jerry Lee, which our manifesto teaches that we have to learn from the oppression. Because like if you, if you ask the Jews, the Jews say, you know, never again. Mm -hmm. But they let you know constantly, constantly over what happened to concentration camps. They don't, they don't, mm -hmm. uh, they don't try to erase it from history. They they constantly reminding people of that history. So I mean, I'm I'm just rambling. I'm going. No, that's fine. I mean, like touching back on um, someone being anti and anonymous. It's like, I guess, the whole thing. T like, well, the way I view it is, you know, you're anonymous, and you have to un like people should not forget about the idea that it stands for. You know. Right. Right. No group. No. Technically, there are no mem no members in Anonymous, and um, so I think the, the mass should be separated from Antifa when it comes right. to different, Two different you know, operations. Yeah, that's right. And that and ideologies as well. I mean, you can one can argue that Anonymous is also Antifa because, and I don't mean by what they do, just simply by um, the ideology. You know, okay. we are we also hate racist. You know, like right, right. That's we're true. against that. And all that, so I mean, I won't say hate, but you know. So there's a lot of always between Antifa and Anonymous on what you guys do. I mean, like, like what you guys stand against. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, right, right, so, right. But again, I guess what it, what it all boils down to, I think, is more so like what Anonymous does as far as opposing them. You know, hacking um, peaceful protests. You know, no matter what, peaceful protest. Right. Of course, like, of course, there's always going to be those doing dumb things out there with the mask. Of course, you know, right, there's, right. there's always going to be that, no matter what. And I think that's where a lot of the bad right came from. You know, it's like, or disinformation. People who only share stuff but don't look into it. You know, a lot of people in anonymous, anonymous have done that. So it's like, I get it, you know, but me, I'm still, I'm still here, you know, I'm still true to the cause and, absolutely you know i'm not in there for the good times you know i'm also in there in the bad times right, so, right no matter what so i think that's that's the only reason why i'm like i'm kind of like separating myself from antifa because i guess from what i see with my own eyes you know it's like i don't really support you know right and that's just that but like i told you i know a lot of i know some people in antifa and they're actually trying to do good things out there okay so it. I guess it's more so um, understanding before you judge type of uh, mentality. Okay. Because different factions may be doing different things in Antifa where technically they're both all the same, you know. So it's like maybe they get a bad rep mm -hmm. from some other other factions. Right, you right. Want to call it. So well, it's, it's funny, though, because it's like the same separation – that Anonymous went through, I'm seeing that in Antifa. Right, you know? right. And I, I think it's human. I mean, I think, because, yeah. I mean, I know a lot of uh, times, um, and even a lot of the other groups uh, I interviewed, you know, 
always came back to the topic of free speech. And they said as long as it doesn't promote uh, violence or, or, or hatred. And my thing is, like, uh, I, I guess, I don't know, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, anytime the whole purpose of Antifa is anti-fascism, meaning mm -hmm. if anybody, if, if it's in speech, actions, or whatever, they stand against it. So I, I understand that part. So I guess, well, I guess what my question would be, what, what are the, some of the, I don't even want to say actions, I guess the ideology that backs the actions. What, what, what would be some of the things that you disagree with as far as? Well, from what I've seen, I mean, they can call themselves Black Bloc or whatever, but it's just, you know, so many businesses getting their windows busted and right, all that, okay. or uh, littering, throwing trash in the streets and this and that. It's just small things, but at the same time, you know, some of these some of these businesses, you know, that's their livelihood. You right. know, it's like, why, why would you attack them? You know, it's like, they're not even part of the whole protest or well, nothing like that. In their defense, I mean, can one say that, okay, well, you got a crowd of people, and Antifa's here, but you got... You know, crowds are going to pick up stragglers, mm -hmm. and a straggler is like the guy that ran over the person with the car. Mm -hmm. Is Antifa responsible for the the growth of the crowd? Meaning, there's people who now, because the guy that I've seen interview, they said Antifa is very strict about their membership. Meaning, if they don't know you, mm -hmm. it, it's always somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. They don't just bring you in, mm -hmm. but you have to know a certain people, and even though. Like me and you, we know each other, so we we can kind of. I can you know, like I can vouch, or you can vouch for me, mm. as a member. But if we're if we're at an event and we draw more people, are we responsible for their actions? Or? I think um, there's there's always going to be responsibility, even like with us in anonymous. It's like, you know, those who do stupid things. It's like we always talk about the. The idea, you know, it's like, do no harm, but don't take anything, right? So right, like, but as members, you guys understand that, though. Yeah, like we... But we, if we pick up, but if you, like, let's say you're going to do an event, a uh, vegan event here mm -hmm. shortly, and you guys, well, I mean, it's a different type of event, because I know you guys stand with the computers showing the slaughters of the animals, but if the event got so large... Let's just say this big mass of people, and then it just got so big, and then people on the outskirts started fighting. Are you guys responsible for that, or I mean, I think that's where the message is very important because, um, like, let's say anonymous, right? Okay. Uh, there's tons of videos out there. I mean, at this point, I mean, one who doesn't do the research to see what they're all about, and then doesn't know anything, but then wants to go and break things you know right it's like so much information out there for you to go and act childish like that it's like no matter what we're somewhat responsible because i mean at the end of the day we call for peaceful protest right you know so and i don't mean we're responsible for their actions we just like responsible for clearing up you know any event that happened like they go and you know like bus windows whatever right now we have to go back and be like hey like this person was wearing a mask and blah blah, blah and you know we, we call for a peaceful window. protest right. and we do not support that like for every action there has to be a reaction like antifa i i, I think they should i don't know make a video be like hey you know right, right. we don't support this and that and we we know there's people out there doing what we are against okay. also. Okay. So I think there should be clarity, basically. Kind of like what me and you are doing now. Right, it's right, like, absolutely, absolutely. Don't just leave it in the air and people, well, they're, they're not opposing it, so maybe that's what they think too, you know. Right, so. right. Right, like even, let's just say, like ISIS, even when something goes down, they either let them know if we did it or we didn't do it. They support or they don't support. They they you're right. They even make and I'm not a supporter of ISIS, obviously, but they they make they put they they clarify. Yeah, I mean, you know, so many. Like, how can they have such organization 
like that, which is kind of simple, but other groups can't manage to do something like that, you know. Just even whether or not it changes people's mind, you have to have that clarity, you know. Like, but can one person argue and say, well, that goes against the whole anarchy, uh, I guess, philosophy? Well, it's, it's funny you say that because it's like I see a lot of, uh, I've seen a lot of Antifa or Black Lock, whatever, go out there, you know, pushing people, throwing stuff, bringing windows, right. trash, littering, etc. But they're waving an anarchy flag, and I'm just like, that's not what anarchy is, you know. Anarchy means no, no masters, no rulers. Right, exactly. It does not mean no rules. You know, there's always going to be rules, right. but right. there's no rulers above anyone. Okay. You know, so I think. Well, then that would contradict the Black Lives Matter because you always got one person speaking for the rest of them. You know what mm. I mean? Like you got the I, I don't even know the one guy's name, but they have their manifesto, and they. Uh, well, I guess it's, I, and I guess it goes back to that mob. Because I'll see the media, they'll interview, or they'll say Black Lives Matter, but then they interview like random black people mm -hmm. that are not a part of anything, and then they just kind of, they might not even agree with the Black Panthers or Black Lives Matter, and just kind of put that label on them. It's like, yeah, yeah. okay, well, that, that you know, it, it's kind of, and then I think that's the same type of heat that Antifa and anonymous you get it, you know what I'm saying? It's like you got you got three elements. You got the two different groups with two different ideologies, and then you got a random person that just happened to be there. Mm -hmm. And their interpretation is that, you know, like you say, you, number one, you straight, you, you, you got straight, okay, peaceful protests. Mm -hmm. But in somebody's mind who hasn't been around you and heard the ideology, they just see a bunch of people, and they think, oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's just, that's the first reaction, yeah. you know? Oh, right, let's turn stuff up, you know. Let's, let's, let's. And you can't just control everything, you know. No, it's, no, it's impossible. Right, like, right. So there's always going to be that. And it's just, I think for me, the next step for any group, like the way Anonymous does, is like just put a video out there. And, and like not every video, even me, not every video that's part from Anonymous, I absolutely agree with. Because there's some videos out there that, have pushed for like you know they kind of like retaliate or like show them force by any means or whatever and it's like no it's like that's not what anonymous is so it's like i'm sure and then so they're changing the rules when they get in the group then they change the rules or they're not following the rules per se they're not following the manifesto yeah yeah, yeah. Right. there's always going to be fakes out there you know and um I'm like if I ever run into any one of them, like whether it's social media, YouTube, or whatever, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call them out. You know, right, it's like absolutely. that's not what anonymous is about. So it's like uh, there's just there's already enough bad rap, you that's know, right. from people who don't understand anonymous. And they think oh, there's a bunch of you know, it's they might call us anarchists, but in their mind they see that as chaos, which is the total opposite. Right. You know, so. I just, people just, I guess, especially the mainstream media, you know, they're well, yeah, highly yeah. responsible for a lot of this. Well, well Jose, so. we already know, man. I've, 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 I mean, we're so far in the game. It's just like veganism. If you don't know by now that the media is not in your best interest, it's just like, and you, and it's funny because you got revolutionary groups and people like, let me give you an example, like Alex Jones. He's one of he's like one of the figures on the right as a revolutionary new media, but then he keeps referring back to the main media, and I'm like, yo, you got more viewers than these people. Mm -hmm. You got more people following you than them. They're losing viewers, so why are you still giving them power? <laughs> yeah, you know. I, I mean, I know there's still people, I guess, very far, you few in between that still watching the mainstream, but. I think, from what I've seen, this is just my opinion, Jose. I think a lot of people have been red pilled by now. You know, mm -hmm. now with the vegan, now that's a whole different level of red pill. The vegan, oh, yeah. I think veganism <laughs> is the last 
Red, red pill, but red pill with crack in it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's but we we gonna we gonna touch on that in a little bit. But um, okay. So uh, let's see. So we're dealing. I'll tell you what. Okay. Um, I've been t- talking to one of Antifa, right? Okay. And they're also anonymous. Anonymous. This is from Nashville. This is what they're they saying. You know, it says Nashville Antifa are anti-fascists who broadly support community community mutual aid, okay. solidarity, and defense. We oppose oppression, specifically fascist oppression, That's that right. can be observed when a member of Vanguard drives into a crowd of, in, at Charlottesville. Right. Or when militarized police gun, gun down unarmed citizens in the streets. We choose to defend our communities using the tools at our disposal. We do not seek to destroy First Amendment rights. Okay. Um, the First Amendment protects citizens' right to expression without infringement by the government. We are not affiliated with the state, and this amendment does not protect fascists from criticizing and or consequences to their speech or actions. The fetish, fetishization of free speech as a Trojan horse, which allows these violent sects of white nationalists to organize, recruit, and spread their platform. We will obfuscate that endeavor at every step of the way in an effort to protect our families and communities at large. Now, this is coming from Nashville Antifa. Okay. So, so okay, so let me, because uh, I want to I try to dissect this very carefully. Um, the white nationalists. Mm-hmm. You know, when they're having their uh, rallies, you know, you have white nationalism, you have white supremacists, and then you have white separatists. And um, black people have that same paradigm. You know, we have black supremacists, black nationalists, and Black Supremes, Black Nationalists, Black Separatists, and so uh, I always go out, I don't agree with the Black Supremacists, Black Separatists, but I'm thinking if they affect their free speech, then they're going to affect everybody's free speech, so. Um, it's a fine line. It is, man. It's, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah. You know. Uh, My opinion is that, like, yeah, everyone has free speech, right? So, but I feel like we we should have the also the right to like not necessarily through violence stop their free speech okay. when when it's hate speech, actually. Right. But we should at least um, have a bigger reaction. Like I know there's counter protests, but um, more so, I think a good way it would be like maybe because a lot of people don't support you know the white nationalists even right. in different communities so it's like i don't know put up signs like we there will not be hate in this community or something you right. know like instead of like counter protesting protesting i guess more so you know it's fine stand you know hold signs and everything and right just to show them you know that but if if violence occurs quickly separate from that like like okay. like no this is not what we're doing you know and as a community no matter where you're at um have people come together you know um, yeah because even like you know um shout out to chris three percent the three percent they're against uh, of course you know the clan but they're for free speech they're for the constitution and they're for these statues stand up and so we still come back to the statues where you have people like the Confederates and people like, mm, I want to say more conservative groups, not necessarily racist groups. And and that's why it's so, ah, it's such a touchy subject because you have people who are against hatred, against racism, but they're um, like the statues, 
you know, you have some people say heritage and I hate, and you see some people say, oh, well, that was slavery. Um, and then again, with the Black Panthers, we have our ideology and manifesto of what we believe that, you know, we don't necessarily agree with a lot of historical figures, but we don't agree with you taking it down. You know? Yeah. I mean, um, I don't know if a statue offends you that much. I mean, I don't know what to say. <laughs> right. It's just a statue, you know? It's like, yeah, you know, there's negative things that they stand for and this and that, but it's like, we're constantly complaining about the history, you know, like, taking it down and all that. It's right. like, why can't we just move forward, man? It's like, it's, I think once people get caught up in that, like, right. take it down and this and that, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna be like a constant separation between any group, you know? Right. Like, those who want to keep it and those who want to take it down. I mean, how long have they been up for the, like, forever and just now finally well not only that if you got to take down general lee then you got to take down george washington you got to take down all the historical figures in england mm -hmm. france africa you got to take down the egyptians they had slaves mm -hmm. so you got to take down everything that's egyptian you got to take that down yeah you gotta take I down mean, everything that's assyrian everything from the babylonians they all had slavery i mean i've done some research and um I kind of came across where the whole Egyptian pyramids and all that um, right. history may say that they use slaves, but you got this other um, information that says that they're, they they actually weren't slaves. Yeah, uh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, and that's true. Well, you have different per time periods, mm -hmm. so I guess people have to ask the question. Uh, because they're now they're saying that you know the Egyptians were like Caucasians, and I'm saying okay, what time period are we talking? Mm -hmm. Because there's different dynasties. Yeah, there's different dynasties in it because there's a long period. So the period I know I, I I know exactly the period that you're talking about that they had actual workers and they had long that you know they they so, but then they're talking about another period where you had the invasion of the, what they call the Hicksculls, the Hicks, mm -hmm. the Hicks Six, I can't even say it, the Hicksculls. And with that, they brought in uh, like prisoners of war, and then they brought in, I think what they said, they're saying that the slavery came in later, but the period that you're talking about was way before, so it's mm -hmm. like, what time period? So it's, it's complex because we have to understand that the time period that built the pyramids was like one dynasty mm -hmm. and you had many dynasties in between and then you had the later dynasties with like King Tut and Cleopatra that was later mm -hmm. you know and when they talk about like Moses and that that was way later oh, but yeah. the period you're talking about was way early yeah you and I, I think like if people do enough research they will realize that um the pyramids, even with our technology today, mm -hmm. it would be like almost impossible to recreate them. Because right. the stones itself, I mean, heavy machinery would have a hard time picking that up Absolutely. nowadays. So it's like, how can so many slaves actually put all those blocks on there? You know, right. Then, then yeah. you come into conversations about like UFO or whatever. Like, I don't know if people have ever heard of Anunnaki, you know? Right. I think like the Sumerian texts and scriptures and all that talk about all that right you know? flying vehicles and all that yeah, like yeah. Chariots, yeah. I mean if, if you want to kind of compare like for us nowadays let's say we're cavemen right and we don't have all this technology fire and all that if we saw a vehicle in the sky of course we're going to call it oh my god that's like a god you know right right yeah or in, their, right. in their view of course there were gods uh, uh, ascending from the heavens that's what they in their mind would think now we just is a plane yeah right, nowadays right. so it's like a lot of from what I've uh, researched is that we we actually learned slavery and the monetary system from them because once they were done doing whatever they were supposedly they were here to gold uh, mine gold you know right. so, uh, 
gold is something yet we cl clearly don't truly understand what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, you can leave it in the ocean centuries and it won't. So rest. what you're saying is like, okay, let me give you an example. Like Liberia, no, Libya and Egypt, mm -hmm. they were westernized societies. Before, you know, the women could wear whatever they want to wear. Mm -hmm. They had democracy. This is during the eighties. Yeah. Now that there's war and everything's bombed to shreds, and now they're under a theocracy, under Islamic State, ISIS, and all that. So they've actually gone backwards. So would you yeah. say the same happened with the Egyptians, where they yeah, had a I think working so. system, and then they had war, and then. Things went into shambles, and now they had to start over. So things became barbaric, as they, like like well, you know we we both gamers. We play Fallout, mm -hmm. where you have this technology, everything is thriving, and then when war happens, everything has to be reset. Mm -hmm. And so now we're living in a barbaric stage. But I think a lot of people, their minds is like, as humans, we think of things progressing and get it better, but war kind of resets that, mm -hmm. and you have to start over again. So. Can you say that, that's what I'm saying, it's a time period where Egypt flourished mm -hmm. and then the Hyksos invaded and then they had to start over. And now, you know, when you have certain, like let's just say ISIS, mm -hmm. now you have slavery in, in, in Egypt and uh, Libya. Because, you know, Gaddafi, when they killed Gaddafi, they, things changed. Yeah. When they took out Hosni Mubarak, things changed, you know? So, I don't know, that's just, that's just my, you know. Yeah, my. from my understanding, um, when the Anunnaki were done doing whatever they were doing, I mean, you have um, a lot of biblical scriptures kind of contradict, are contradicting oh, right. because of that. And, um, you know, it talks about how, you know, they reproducing with the, with us, the first humans, whatever. Right. They're already... People will like, I don't know what you call them, um, Neanderthals or whatever, but um, our advancement to how we are now, as far as biologically, yeah, like there's no way we evolved that fast, you know. So, and I'm glad you said that because I mean, I want to, I want to bring, I want to relate this to the veganism, because yeah, because we're talking about early man here, yeah, so okay. Um, so I mean, describe all the biological because I'm because we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring this in because yeah. I, I, we, we already know where we're going with this as far as you know the <laughs> canines and the oh yeah, yeah. diet and all that stuff and you know we're meat eaters but you know, we're, we're go ahead I'm, I'm, yeah yeah but you, yeah because you, you're already setting up for the next but thing. um yeah um so you know just to finish on the topic of slavery okay um they. They're, these are like Sumerian scriptures and all. You can find that all in their uh, scriptures, okay. like from what they saw, you know. Okay. Which means there was a civilization during that Prior, time. That's right. Yeah. So you know, basically the Anunnaki manipulated our DNA to make us what we are now. Okay. Know? And they, of course, they had a lot of failures during that time. So they didn't come from cooked food. They were saying, "Oh, the cooked meat is what gave us our <laughs> brain development." Did you hear that? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, you hear that? Oh, I know you heard that on right? <laughs> yeah. They're saying because we we've advanced because we were eating meat and we cooked the food and it allowed us to, you know. <laughs> and my thing is, if that's true, then that means the uh, lions become smarter too because they eat meat. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that's I don't you know dogs. Well, you know dogs are smart, but. Yeah, they'd be able to be doctors and all that stuff. But go ahead, I'm sorry. But yeah, um, so when they were done, whatever, finally they used the 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 first ones that, like, when they were done with their experiment, whatever, with us, finally they set us up to work in the mines to dig up the gold. Right. That's what they needed. Okay. Um, so I, I, I believe in, in, like, from my understanding that when they left, they left people behind. Not not the original Anunnaki, but the... Because you know, you've heard of giants and mm -hmm. all that. Um, those with elongated head, heads mm -hmm. and, and all that. They left them in charge, which brings slavery. Because now they think they're like the demigods. Now they think they're above us, you know, the creation. And so that's when the ruling, I think, started, like... You know, work for me because I'm a demigod. 
you know, or right. like the monetary system. Okay, okay. I think that's where all that came from. But I mean, evolution. Talking about talking about evolution, like we're hunters and gatherers. You know. Yeah, let's talk about that. Let's just say let's just say that's true, right? We're, we were hunters okay. and gatherers. Yeah. Okay, let's just put it that way. Okay. Okay. Um, we're not in caves anymore. You know. Right. It's 2017. The right. abundance of food um, that we can just go out and get on a daily basis. How is that hunting and gathering anymore? You know, like. But it's not right. When will we evolve past that? You know, if we can evolve from caves. But and, people um, say protein, though. We eat our protein. <laughs> yeah, protein. Uh, just eat food. That's that's all you need to get protein. Just eat food. There's no like, the, you can, you can actually the protein from the animal is not as uh, good for your body as it is from getting it from plants. That's right. So you plants know, have protein. It digests. Oh yeah. Right. It digests better. You know. So you, can we share with the people what plants have protein so we can debunk that once and for all? Because I'm tired of hearing that. <laughs> protein though. Protein. You I know, get it from a lot of greens, lentils, greens. Um, Spinach. Peanuts, spinach. Right. It's the so, the amount of ways you can get it from plants. So everything in plants, basically. Just about. I mean, and you don't like people actually eat more than they need nowadays. Like as far as protein goes, like there's no like when did any vegan die from protein deficiency? Yeah, Never. it's like <laughs> it's a myth, you know. Right. It's, it's and crazy. the only thing that I can think of that they can only point their fingers at vegan is B12, but you can get that through nutritional yeast. I personally take a vegan supplement that's B12. Okay. A vegan supplement that's B12. Me, I, I, I use uh, nutritional yeast mm -hmm. that has B12 in it. That's just another way. Yeah, that's my food. Yeah, you know? my food so it's like, okay, that's the bunk now. Now what? You know? <laughs> right. Uh, the omega 3s and 6s uh, fish. Um, okay. Flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds. You can get all, all this that. you can find at the grocery market? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds. I mean, that's also debunked. You know, like, so now what? <laughs> it's just different arguments that people use, whether it's morals, uh, religion. But uh, Jose, people, they they make it sound hard, like like you you're talking about just common stuff we can find in the grocery market. Yeah, I mean, my journey was that uh, within a three year period, right? Okay. Um, I um, when I decided finally, I cut out red meats. Uh, okay. Um, pork, um, steak. You and know, all and that it's funny because I know you being Hispanic, mm -hmm. you know, and it helped me with my vegan to. Well, vegetarian and vegan journey, but a lot of, actually, a lot of Hispanic foods are, well. Steak. <laughs> it's steak, but if you minus the steak and the cheese, a lot yeah. of it's vegan. Yeah, pretty much. Vegan baits. If you just subtract uh, uh, those two things, you got a vegetarian meal and, and very good meals. Like, yeah. a lot of Hispanic and Southwestern meals are very vegan. Mm -hmm. Did you just, like you say, subtract the, the, the you know, the carne asadas and... The yeah. cheese, you know. Now, and, and for me, because I was a, it was a state when I was a vegetarian, but I was eating a lot of Mexican food without the meat. Mm -hmm. Cause, but you had a lot of cheese, and, and mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm away from that now. But, I mean, the transition is not hard. You, you know, you have, and then you have pastas out there that are non-meats. But, I mean, I mean, we can go on and on. It's, it's easier than, I, I, you know, I didn't even realize, like, I was... I'm 43 years now. I was a vegetarian for like 23 years and didn't even know it. I just yeah. didn't like me, you know. And then people, and then what's another misnomer? They say, oh, you know, we're, we're scrawny. We're, 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 we're. I, now I have to say this. I think we, more vegans need to start working out, though. To <laughs> yeah. kind of dispel I mean, some of the myth. Cause, I mean, shout out to Diesel Automatic. He's a vegan. You know, he's a, they call it rap for this. He, he raps about real, you know, stuff. Okay. Um, so, he's far from skinny, you yeah, know. Right. He's well, I think this is the time that vegan, especially vegan bodybuilders need to come forward because now you got 
uh, the bodybuilders dropping like flies now. I don't know if you heard of Richard Piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he's dead. Mm -hmm. Um, in the Olympics, there was a. Uh, I mean, yeah, we got we got. I think the the, the top uh, powerlifter was a vegan. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he's a vegan. Yeah. So, but but we need more because I got into this argument with this couple last night, and they were like, "Oh, how could you be a bodybuilder?" I'm like, "Well, yeah, we we have the top record." Yeah, <laughs> we have some of the top athletes in the world. You know the ninja com competition. Mm -hmm. You you got people on steroids who can't even go through that. But it's yeah. a, a guy who's a vegan. He goes through that course like nothing. And I'm yeah. like, man, what what so what what is it going to take to dispel these myths that we keep? And my thing is, I think yeah, we need more vegan lifters because people they see. What they see is what they, 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 they judge you based on looks. We be the healthiest people in the world. It's just like the bodybuilders are flying off like fly. They're getting heart attacks. Mm -hmm. They're getting clogged arteries. But because they see this big guy, their first perception is, oh, he's healthy. You know? What was one of the most famous people that you know that was a bodybuilder? Uh, oh, man, there's a whole bunch of them. I mean, like movies. let's just say, oh, in the movie, oh, yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's now pushing for veganism. True, that's true. So yeah. it's like, if, if if someone like that realized the importance of eating healthy, then, I mean, I'm sure his followers followers have to, like, you know, see that and be like, oh, you know, maybe I can look into that, you know, maybe he's right, you know. Me, myself, I mean, I go to the gym three or four times a week and I'm not protein deficient, you know. Right, so obviously, like, obviously <laughs> not, right, right. But, I mean... I mean, do we have to get to the point where we've got to take steroids to, to prove our point? I mean, are we just... Nah. No, no, we ain't going to... Nah. Okay. No, nah, that, that, that's kind of backtracking. Okay. You know? I mean, obviously, steroids ain't good for you. Right, right. Um, but, but yeah, but meat eaters will do it to give them that edge and say, well, you know, look, we're, we're the strongest and we're the biggest, but, like I said, man... We like which is, which it, it's funny to me from a male perspective... I mean, it also affects women, but from that's a male right. perspective, um, men eat meat, right? That's, that's a, a whole V that a lot of people have. But at the same time, it, it lowers their testosterone. That's right, yeah. It's so it's fact. like, it's, uh, you, you want to argue about being a man, and this nab was taking your manhood. Science, <laughs> right. Yeah, it's right. So it's right. like, yeah. I mean, even that alone, I don't know. It, it, it's... Um, like for me, when when I was uh, cutting out the red meats and eating chicken, in my mind, chicken is healthier. Right. right yeah. In yeah. my mind. Yeah. During that time, I was like, well, I need, I can just eat chicken, chicken, turkey, whatever. Right. Yeah. Just and, don't eat the red meat. Right. Yeah. But like up to this point now, it's like chicken is actually just as bad. It's a type one carcinogen. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's got even more um, saturated fat. Than, That's right. Than, yeah. Than red meats. So it's like. You know, just doing the research, man, that's all it takes. Uh, and for those who, like, they say that they don't care, you know, at least put it out there. Like, I don't care. But don't preach about it. Right, right, right. Don't make it seem like it's healthy or, you know. Or I, no, I, uh, the excuse that I always hear that makes me makes me sick is, uh, well, uh, everything has poison in it or everything causes cancer. And that's not true. <laughs> you know, everything, everything doesn't cause heart disease. You know, no. a plant-based, uh, plant-based vegan diet reverses is the only diet known to reverse heart disease. Yeah. The Atkins diet, the uh, what, are, what do they call it? The other diet they call it the uh, lean cuisine. Or... <laughs> yeah. The, oh yeah, yeah, that was clinogenic or whatever it is that hey. does not reverse heart disease. The science is stacked up against that, and then yeah. all cooked meat. And that's why I'm glad you brought up chicken. You know, in the red meat. If you cook any meat, it is now at that point a type 1 carcinogen. So if you can't eat the meat raw, then you shouldn't be eating it. The only way to meat, you're not going to make it a carcinogen if you don't cook it. you got to eat raw meat. Yeah. And, and of course, our teeth are not designed to tear yeah. raw meat. <laughs> and even that alone, eating raw meat, you know, they, they always put those health warnings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not, no. No, I, I mean... I'm just saying, just avoid the carcinogen, but the raw meat, that opens up a whole can yeah. of worms. The, you and that, we don't even, that, yeah. yeah. It's like, when, you know, the whole lion argument or whatever, um, well, they, they, you know, animals, why can't we 
Uh, well, I mean, we don't have claws like lions, you know. We don't, um... So we ain't got canines? Nah. That's... <laughs> 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 I know we laughing at it, but it's, it's right. People, they actually. I mean, that. what canines? Like, I don't get. I don't understand these canines. You know. Right, right. I don't. Want to, yeah, it's, it's, it's so because you know it looks. I guess because it's not totally flat like the rest of our teeth. You know, but they don't understand that. You know, gorillas have canines too. And so do monkeys. Yeah, you know, or the horse. Yeah, and oh, and hippopotamuses. Yeah, they all have canines, but they, you know, the little, you know. The yeah, one, yeah. two, the, the <laughs> set that are not like it's flat as the others. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I don't see anyone running after a, you know, um, even lions or running after what cows or chickens and just grabbing them and tearing them apart and eating them like exactly that. Right. Like, <clears throat> no, you're not a hunter, you know. And um, even our intestines aren't as exactly uh, as short as a lion's. So of course they can digest that properly. Right. Us, uh, you know, you start to get build up, you know, clogged arteries, you know. Um, when I brought up testosterone, you know, it clogs your private parts as well. It's like the blood flow decreases. And right. The, no matter what way you look at it, it's, there's no argument against veganism, no matter what. Right, so I think what our fight, Jose, is basically you're looking at the corporations again because they're going to put out false information. Mm -hmm. You know, they're going to mislead and confuse people. It's just like how earlier we talked about the crowds or the media, or let's just say the media confusing the Antifas, the Anonymouses, the Black Panthers, the Black Lives Matter. They easily do that with the meat industry because they put mm -hmm. billions and trillions of dollars and say, oh, milk, you, you got to have milk, it's good for you. But I mean, I think the doctor that you showed me, what was his name? Uh, Dr. Neil, Neil Bernard? Yeah. So now they can't even mm -hmm. label milk as a healthy, like, <laughs> they can't say that it's healthy anymore. Mm -mm. Eggs. Yeah. Eggs. They can't even label them as a health food. It's illegal to label eggs as a, a healthy food. Right. Because it's like the, the amount of uh, cholesterol in them. It's yeah, unhealthy. It's ridiculous, right? So. Yeah, this is, I mean, it all, it, I think to me it all boils down to taste. You know, people don't want to let go of their taste. Um, because right. I grew up as a meat eater, you know, and I did it, you know. It took me three years, and there's, there's no right way to, like, go vegan, but just trying, man. It's like, just, just try it. And, I mean, if you don't... If you don't care, like, about the animals, mm -hmm. okay, well, this planet that you, that provides oxygen for you yeah. is yeah, being right. destroyed. Right. So, you know, if you don't care about the animals, your planet is being destroyed because of it. Um, you know, the, the future of our children, you know, fishless oceans by 2050. Right. Um, the, the, I mean, the amount of information that's out there and... I mean, this is probably right here. We got a member of Anonymous and a member of Black Panther talking about veganism. Mm -hmm. That's that's a great step. Yeah. You know, we, 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 we pretty much grassroots dealing with veganism. And then I think it's 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 because I, I think the next battle is not on the battlefield but on our plates. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has to because the ten, top ten things that kill us are all meat related. Mm -hmm. Dairy. So, and dairy. And yep. dairy, yeah. Meat, dairy, and eggs are the yep. number top ten killers of people. Not only in America and UK, we have the highest rates of diabetes, obesity, blood high blood pressure, heart disease, clogged arteries. I mean, <laughs> the top five <laughs> things or top ten. And it's number funny because a lot of these corporations who supposedly are, are against cancer and diabetes and all that, right? They actually want you to have a. a diet plan that consists of meat because they're getting paid yeah, yeah. so why would such a big corporation do something like that follow the money <laughs> it's as simple as that right and yeah I mean like I did some research and um but we can talk about the greenhouse gases you know 51% right. of the greenhouse gases in the world come from animal agriculture that's a fact 
um, which is the number one cause in, in climate change, okay. above transportation, uh, fossil fuels, and you know gas and all that. It, it uses um, one third of the fresh water in the world. Absolutely, forty-five percent of the Earth's land, ninety-one percent of the Amazon destruction, which leads to species extinction. Um, ocean dead zones. Um, so what you're talking about, Jose, okay, so I'm going to relate this, because I did a prior video on the whole, you know, they talked about how General Lee was a traitor. He wasn't a traitor, because he believed in a, the slavery was, it superseded the lifestyle that we have now. You know, people are free, people living where they get paid for their labor. Yeah. Slavery succeed, superseded that, right? So they were defending an old lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So just like General Lee, we have people eating meat fighting against this. So would you say people look at us vegans as the the bringers of the new world order? <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually when people realize what veganism does as far as right. around the world. Yeah, and you're talking actually, about the environment, health. You're talking about you know cruelty to animals. Mm -hmm. So it's actually going against. A new world order, you know. I mean, well, how so? Because would you say I mean the new order is is that okay? We eat meat. Okay, meat is not healthy. We got to stop eating meat. Wouldn't that be a new world? Wouldn't that be the new world? Like the world is starting to wake up towards veganism, mm -hmm. and so at some point in time, we're going to have to say, you know what? Eating meat is equivalent to giving your children five packs of cigarettes. At some point in time, we got to regulate it. This stuff is unhealthy. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't that be a new new order, like a new well, like slavery was declared like like when Lincoln said okay we're going to end slavery that mm -hmm. was a new world order mm -hmm. that was an order around because you had England do it you had Spain do it you had France do it said you know what we're we're denouncing slavery so and then you had the South fight against it because they were used to it it's like, this is what we do yeah. you know just like we we've been eating meat all our lives yeah. now you want <laughs> us to change so wouldn't that be in their minds a new world order. Well, for for me, I think that's not a. Because I think it's a bad new world order is a bad word, but I mean it, it could be it there it, it's two sides of the coin, and the media just probably can look at it just like the Confederates looked at Lincoln at the time as, man, it, this is new world order is evil. Mm -hmm. Well, to me, the way I see it is like it's not so much a new world order because when it comes to veganism, because. Um, we're herbivores, so it's like kind of going back to how we were. Right. Not a new okay. I world see. Order. Right. Yeah. So we're going back to what we were originally supposed to be. Yeah. Biologically, yeah, we're herbivores, not omnivores. So. Uh, okay. So Jose, what you're saying in a scientific sense is true, but I'm talking about in a social sense. Yeah. People nowadays who don't understand any of this, of course, they're gonna see that, or you can relate that to a new world order, right? But. But no, what you're saying factually, biologically, is true. Yeah, we're, we're omnivore. That, that's yeah. there's no debating that, and that's why we wait. Can't. We're orbivores. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm glad you corrected me. We're right. We're meant. Yeah. We're not. We have long intestines. We're supposed to eat plant-based diets. So yeah. somewhere along the line, we started eating meat. I think during the ice ages and different weathers, we were forced to eat, you know, meat and all that, and we just became adapted. Now we're getting mm -hmm. sick because we eat more meat. So, and I didn't mean to cut you off, but what, what, okay, but going back to, is that socially considered a new world order? Because you're saying, look, you know, you grew up, you know, eating meat. And I prefer to call it a new way of life. I mean, for those who don't really get it, because it's, um, I mean, definitely a healthy way of life, right? I mean, you call it a new world order all, all they want, but this new world order is bringing back mother earth to its natural state okay so i mean you can look at the word bad but what it's doing is good you know right right so okay i mean i was thinking more so like the new world order like government like right right no and, and, and that's true and that's what i'm saying because sometimes people will will twist <clears throat> a word and make you look like the bad guy mm -hmm. meaning yeah we're, we're all saying okay yeah the new world order is government but sometimes the ideology, like like I said, slavery was 
you had two forms of government and Lincoln saying, look, we have to, he was just the face of it. I mean, I'm not saying Lincoln, but he was just the face of yeah. what England and Europe was already doing, saying, look, we got to end slavery. So even though you have governments there, you still have ideas and facts, like scientific facts saying, look, you know, we're, we're dying at a high rate, we got to fix this, you know? So, you know, because people talk about, oh, Donald Trump, he wants to get rid of, you know, Obamacare. Okay, so Obamacare, Trump care, whatever you call it, in order to avoid all that medical stuff, let's start eating healthy. Because, yeah. you know, whether you agree with Obama or you agree with Trump, we, we know that at the end of the day, we have to get healthy. Yeah, and like you said earlier, it starts at your dinner plate. Right, That's exactly. where That's where it starts, you know. Right. We can uh, protest the the bills and far, big pharma all we want, but it, it starts at our dinner plate. It starts right with us, right? Yeah, right. Like, like you can't change the world without changing yourself first. That's right. Yeah. So, but I mean, one thing I want to just put out there that those who support government, right? Yeah. It's like. If you turn around and tell them, you know, is it okay if I can control your mind? You know, they're going to be like, no. Right, right. How can you control my mind, you know? But that's what the word means. Government. You know, govern. Govern is to control, right. of course. Right, yeah. Ment. Mente, in, like in Spanish or Latin, means mind. Yeah. Control of the mind. <laughs> right, right. So, even money means one eye, which is funny because it's on a dollar bill. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, I have meat eaters, carnivores, all the time. Oh, you trying to control? They, they'll use that same argument against us, saying we're trying to control <laughs> the way they eat. Why not just let uh, yeah, them eat I the mean, way they eat? I don't know. Pushing your views uh, on me. Right, right, right. That's, right. What that's the main one I get, pushing your views on me. Right. And I'm just like, I'm not. I mean, I'm not. Just because you hate the but truth, you know, that's not my problem. Doesn't you know? That's not my problem. That you hate the truth. Right. You know, I'm just putting it out there. Look and at what's happening to these animals. Look at what's happening to these animals. What makes you know? think I care about? What makes your, you think I care yeah. about? Yeah. Your yeah. Look at, feelings. Look at what you know? we're doing. Look at look yeah. at what we're doing. Yeah. Right. You know? If, like, if the animals ever form, like if the animals ever form their religion, right. we will be the devil. So absolutely. So not only do the animals, but not only the animals, like the environmental impact. Environmental impacts. It's, 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 it's stacked. It's like it's we're stacked. Like we're living in a paradigm right now. Where we're going to see that change. Uh, people don't come over to be. Uh, people don't come over to be. They're going to be part of that top ten. They're going to be part of that top ten. It's killing them. It's killing them. They refuse to see it. They refuse to see it. It's clear as day. The evidence. It's clear as day. The evidence is so we'll be going to die. It's either we'll be going to die. Yes. Yes, I mean, I've, I've had, I've had someone like, have you ever been to a slow house? I've actually I'm seen it like, in person, and I'm just like, why does someone have, why does someone have to see it in person right. to why understand you, it? You, and why can you even? I know it's a video, you can but see what's happening. you can right. see what's happening. Whether I'm there it's or like, not, whether I'm there or not, it's I still connect with it because I don't like that. Right, you know. And the amount of arguments, the that amount of arguments that's crazy. I mean, against this, it's crazy. I mean, we, we, we are labeled terrorists. me and you are labeled oh, terrorists. Yeah. Speaking of oh yeah, technology. big because industries want to pass. Big because industries want to pass that. Right. <laughs> so yeah. now we're terrorists. <laughs> so now we're terrorists. Like what else? Is it's like what, can what else can they say against us at this point? Yeah. yeah. And I mean, I don't know. Yeah, people felt to make that. I don't know. People felt to make that connection. Maybe having compassion. Having compassion for all life. For all it's life. Too much. It's, it's too much. Too much. Well, no, well, my thing is, yeah. well, my well, my thing is, is if a person can't even be concerned, concerned with their own health, then you can't even bring the animals in. Compassion of the animals. You don't, don't care about yourself. Yeah, you got to start yourself. You got to start yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You got to start yourself. Yeah. You gotta start. Yeah. That's why, that's why, you gotta start. Start. that's why, that's why, that's why, always, health is always my first. Because you can't get past that, Jose. Because you can't get past that, Jose. You don't care about yourself. You don't care about yourself. I can't tell you about animals. I can't tell you about that. I can't believe because you don't. I can't believe because you don't. You want you you refuse. You want you you refuse to see the statistics. Heart disease is a Heart disease is a You refuse to see that. You refuse to see that. You got nine other things that follow. You got nine other things that follow. Don't even relate to car accidents. Don't even relate to car accidents. It's all health related. It's all health related. It's all meat and dairy eggs. It's meat and dairy eggs. Then it's like I can't even. I can't even bring up animals. I can't even bring up environment. I can't bring up environment. 
What, what, I think... What, what, I think... It's a little, I guess. I guess you can say it's a little. I difficult guess you can say it's a little difficult for me is that. I know a lot of people doing. Good I know a lot of people there. doing good things right. out there. Right. You know, feeding uh, the homeless. Um, mm -hmm. Protesting. You know, against protesting. You know, against the government. I guess, and I guess. Doing good things for their. Doing community good things for their or community. Speaking against, or speaking up against and all that. Right. oppression and all that. What's difficult right. for me is that. What's like, difficult for me is that like. Support all that. Well, I support all that. They're also, mm -hmm. supporting, They're also supporting the oppressors. The oppressors. Right. Simultaneously, because simultaneously, like, yeah, you're against them, like, yeah, you're you're against them but yeah, you support their other faction. Whatever you want to call it. You know? I'm going to say it's the last red pill. You know? yeah. It's yeah. the last red pill. It's the red pill that'll save you. It's the red pill that'll save you. The environment. So, you know, I have a you need closing statements because we down. You need closing statements because we down. Man, this is moving by quick. Yeah, we already cool. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Oh, okay, yeah, we got it. Okay, yeah, we got it. Well, yeah. talking about veganism. Well, talking about veganism, I will have my Little March and uh, September 9th, which is on Saturday at Ward Park. Okay. Uh, starting it's really, at 10. It's, not, it's, not it's really, it's not, it's not necessarily protesting and yelling and all that. It's, it's more so like spreading the information. Okay. And just you know, trying. And you just you trying. Try. You know, you um, just got to try it. And um, uh, I got a lot of people who's uh, I got a lot of people who supporting it. So they hopefully okay. they turn out. All right. We out. Peace. We out. Peace.